Alrighty, my friends, in this lesson, we are going to be exploring our three primary colors and some amazing artwork by artist Piet Mondrian. So what are our three primary colors? They are red, yellow, and blue, of course. Look at this thing. This is called a color wheel. We can see that our three primary colors make an upright triangle. Yellow is at the top, blue is to the right, and red is to the left. But what is it that makes our three primary colors so special? It's that they can actually make other colors. But we'll learn about that in another lesson. For our primary color lesson, we are going to be focusing on the very famous artist, Piet Mondrian. Piet Mondrian was best known for his contemporary and modern works of art. The elements of art Piet Mondrian used most were line, shape, and color, where we see the three primary colors in almost all of his contemporary and modern works. When we look at Mondrian's art, we can see his bold black lines and rectangle and square shapes, and of course, our three primary colors. You can see that there are yellow shapes, red shapes, and blue shapes, and of course some large black spaces as well. These are some very interesting but simple works of art. For our art activity, we're going to be focusing on this piece titled Broadway Boogie Woogie. For this step of the project, you'll need scissors, a glue stick, a white piece of paper, your messy mat for gluing, and three strips. One red, one blue, one yellow. The three primary colors. What you are going to do is you're going to make sure that you use your scissors the correct way. You're going to lift up your strip and you're going to cut it into squares, just like we saw in Broadway Boogie Woogie by Piet Mondrian. I've made it through my whole yellow strip. I'm going to put them together and move on to my blue. Here I go. I'm taking my time. Now this video is in fast motion. That means that I sped it up. So I'm actually not working this fast in real life. You really want to take your time and do a really nice job cutting your strips. This is our first step of the lesson. All right, now that we cut our strips, we're going to be moving on to step number two, figuring out our design. For step number two of this lesson, we're going to start thinking about our design. You might think, hmm, I can do a pattern like I'm doing right now. Red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow. Hmm. Or maybe I could do something different. Maybe I can start making shapes with my squares. I just made a square. I'm thinking right now. I'm taking my squares and I'm just putting them on my page. I'm turning them like diamonds. I'm trying to make other shapes with my squares. But if you don't like that design, you can start over. I'm starting a new design now. There's lots of different ways that you can put together this project. You do not have to do it the same way as me. I know you're all so creative, so I would like to see what you come up with that's interesting and new. Remember, we're using Broadway Boogie Woogie, that art piece from earlier in the video, to inspire our own Broadway Boogie Woogie creation. I'm really trying to use up a lot of the space on my page. You don't have to use all your pieces. We are going to move on to our third and final step, gluing your design. When you glue your design, make sure that you're gluing on your glue mat. You're not going to glue directly on your white paper. That leaves glue spots. See how I'm taking each of my squares and I'm moving them to my art mat. 
I'm adding glue all over the back and then sticking them on and giving them a push with my hand. You're going to do this for your entire project, every single piece. This is a good way to practice gluing with good craftsmanship. That means gluing your very, very best. Taking your pieces, putting them on your glue mat, adding glue, and pushing them down to make them nice and flat. You're going to repeat this process for your entire activity.